Welcome in. We're glad to see you on another episode of Low Country Money Talk. Revolutionary financial group expert, well, and resident expert, Phil Bloyd, hey. joins us again. Thanks. Nice to see you. Yes. So we have a lot, We always, I always start the show by saying we have a lot to talk about, but it's amazing how it, quickly it goes and how yes. many things we really do have right. to discuss. It's a lot. It's a lot. So for those of you who, are, who like the show and are watching the show, we often talk a lot about those of you who are entering soon into retirement or are retired. And of course, we talk a lot about what's happening right now with current events. Yes. Uh, last time you were here, we talked about inflation yes. quite a bit mm -hmm. because I know a lot of our viewers are struggling with that and really trying to find ways to cope with it. Yeah. So let's talk about how mm -hmm. methods that you feel like sure. folks can cope with all the inflation that we're dealing with. Well, with the inflation, the increase in cost of energy and all these other things, I've seen some numbers that indicate that households could be losing as much as six to $7,000 a year. That's you know, a that's lot. a lot of money a for one. a retiree. Yeah. So uh, what can we do? The first thing that I like to do, Jess, is, is when I need, meet a new person, you know, I want to look at your tax return and right. see where you're taking your income from. Are there some ways that we can save taxes? Mm -hmm. uh, in most cases, I would say yes. There, you're, you're taking it from here. You're taking too much from here. Maybe we should take more from here and less from here. And you know, maybe that can eat into what you're losing in inflation. Right. So that's number one. Oh gosh, well, we yes. look for tax savings. Right, okay. and and I have, I've learned from you, yeah. and I've said many times that can be so much more significant yeah. than I ever really understood. Sometimes that can be more than what the return on the market is. It's like if I take money out of here, I'm losing 30 cents on the dollar. I could take it out of here and maybe only lose 15 cents on the That's right. half. That's half. So that, that can be much more important than what we're getting in, in a, the return on our investments. So number one would be tax savings. Okay, yeah. Number two, most people are paying too much to have their assets managed. Uh -huh. So we look at like uh, fees and expenses related to your retirement savings. So how much am I paying to have my money managed or maybe I manage myself? What are the internal expenses? If I have a mutual fund, how much am I losing because of expense ratios? Right. Uh, phantom taxes inside of a mutual fund. Um, capital gains inside of a mutual fund, turnover costs inside of a mutual fund. People well, don't consider that. And I learned just from having you look at some of my things, there's sometimes fees inside of the fees. Yes. So you're the, you're paying an advisor a fee and then they're using a service that also has a fee. Right. So you think you're just paying the one fee. Yes. Yeah. So let's say I have an advisor, I'm paying 1% management to the advisor. So in my mind, I think, hey, I'm paying 1%. Right. So there's 500,000, it's costing me 5,000 a year. Well, wait a minute. When we, we look deeper into these investments, what type of investments has your advisor uh, put together for you in your portfolio? There could be mutual funds in there that have their own fees. So maybe their fee is one, one and a quarter and one. So now I'm over two, two and a quarter. I think I'm paying one. Uh, it could be exchange traded funds. They have expense ratios as well. So maybe my exchange traded fund expense ratio could be 0.5. So then I'm paying one and a half. Yeah. Uh, variable annuities, they, they have internal fees and expenses. So all these things need to be considered. So if we look at one, your income tax return and where you're taking your money, yes. usually there are savings there. Two, if we look at your expenses inside your portfolio, based upon what we just spoke of, yeah. I bet now you're thinking. I know it got my eyes <laughs> tuned into some things for sure, yeah. because you just don't think about looking that internally mm -hmm. sometimes into your portfolio yeah. or sometimes like I just really didn't even know how to. Mm -hmm. So uh, really good points. We already have to go to break, but okay. we've got more great information for our viewers coming up after the break. Stick with us. Mm -hmm. 